Northern Light is our cosmic TV system in near space, where the TV screen is lower atmosphere, above 100 kilometer, and the source, the electron gun, like in old TV tubes, is above the equator somewhere, transmitting the electrons, which excite then in collisions, uh, atoms and molecules, and light is emitted. Those electrons, most of them are originally from solar wind. Well, we need a energy from the sun to give some kinetic energy for the solar wind that comes to the Earth, close to Earth, and compress the, the magnetosphere of Earth that enforces the, the particles come to close enough to the Earth and then collide to the atmospheric particles that will be excited and then the excitement will be released and give light. It's pretty special, special because um, it's something that our country has and we're pr proud of and all. But it's like a little bit like rainbows for every human being. Like if you saw a really clear um, rainbow, you're like, oh, that's amazing. But all together, it's like um, we're going to use it and all. So it's not so, um, there's not so much wow factor in it. The understanding of Northern Light was that the Northern Lights were coming from the tail of the fox. Meaning, like when the fox was running in the snow, the tail was moving and hitting the snow, and the snowflakes were forming a cloud, and the cloud was going into the sky and forming the Northern Lights. Perhaps it is Firefox in any case. Okay. Well, I checked the space weather, and there are satellites which are measure measuring the plasma burst from the sun. And now they have detected one plasma burst, which means that we would have aurora somewhere behind the clouds. Even weather changes or weather system change, only the visibility or to see aurora changes, the process itself is there. And then you have to take an aeroplane and go there up and look above the clouds. <laughs> 